Aha. Yep, that, that definitely is getting the spot right there. So you can use these robots for practically anything. Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Now, if you're like me, you've always wanted a robotic arm, especially after seeing Iron Man and even seeing one in person in California. It's actually a very cool aspect in terms of technology. Now, obviously the price is really outrageous, so it's kind of hard to afford it just for the average person. But this year is an alternative. This year is called a mech arm, a robotic arm that you can go ahead and program using my blocky based off of Raspberry Pi. Now the unique thing about this particular robotic kit is that it's literally a plug and play feature. You go ahead and plug a micro HDMI to any monitor with a mouse and a keyboard, you can go ahead and program it directly without a need of a separate computer. Now it works based off of my blocky, so it's simply plug and play and drag and drop method allowing to go ahead and program it to do just about anything. Now it comes with a variety of different attachments and is currently funding right now. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out and see exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this here is our packaging. This here is the box that it comes with. Now obviously this being a prototype might be a little bit more refined when it actually does come out. But let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Ah, uh, look at that. So this here is everything that you get. So you have this robotic arm, which I have to say is very interesting looking. So it's almost like a 3D printed robotic arm. Um, and it's got this nice light gray with a dark gray tone cover. Uh, and you do have a variety of different ports here on the top here to go ahead and connect your robot and connect the different variation of pieces. Now it comes with an on off button here, power port here, and then a few other USB B ports as well as an ethernet cord cable as well. Now over here you do have a variety of ports and then you do have another power cord and then you have a micro SD slot here on the bottom uh, to go ahead and program it as well. Now as we kind of move about we do have ourselves it looks like a base so this will allow us to go ahead and have a robot kind of stand on here. Again a very interesting looking 3D printed part. So we have a suction here so this is kind of cool we haven't really seen this before uh, and then we have ourselves a uh, looks like a phone mount program say like a face on this robot and kind of give it more of an expressional feel. Uh, we have a pointer, point or essentially press buttons if you want to do that. And then lastly, we do have a gripper so, and grab things and program it that way as well. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and build this bad boy and try it and see exactly what it can do. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So everything is plugged in. So you go ahead and plug in your keyboard as well as your mouse directly into the robot. And believe it or not, the robot has its built-in computer allowing to go ahead and access the program directly. Now you plug in a mini HDMI to one of the ports and then you plug in the HDMI to a screen like this. And then this here will go ahead and showcase all the different apps. So you have my blocky. Now my blocky is a drag and drop kind of situation where you can go ahead and create your own programming as well as manual pat python if you wish to go that way too. Now if you click on blocky here we can click on my cobot and this will kind of give us the breakdown of all the different things that are pre-built into it. All right and then from here it's just literally pick and play so this will installize the robot and then I can go here and scroll through all the different variables. So you have speed, uh, you have gripper status, you have uh, specific servo control, speed control, coordinate control. You also have your mathematical equations, your logic, your loops, your functions, your time. So for instance, if you want to go ahead and start this, we'll click on set angle. Now J1, J2, J3, J4, J5, J6 are all the servos going from the bottom to the top. For instance, this one is J1. If I slightly move the cursor here, you'll see what happens. There we go. So I just rotated the bottom portion there. Then J2 will rotate the second servo, which is that right there. J3 will rotate this servo here. Turn it the other way. There we go. And then um, go with the, put this back to zero. Just so you guys can see better. There we go. And J4 will rotate the top portion there. Uh, J5. And lastly, J6, and there you are. So just like that, you can go ahead and create your own specific motion. Now you update the speed on how fast you want that motion to happen. 
And then you can go ahead and click on another one. For instance, we'll do another set angle and I can go ahead and hit play and it'll perform that motion. So that was just a quick little motion there. Now we can go ahead and create our own variables as well as motions. So I can even have it sleep in between for like a second or two and then jump between the two different motions. For instance, if I do this, sleep for say three seconds, it'll go to the first motion, wait one, two, three, and go back to the second motion. And then you can go ahead and have this repeat. You can go ahead and create a variety of different animations and it's actually quite simple and very easy to use. Now you have different ones where you specific, specify specific angles. Um, you also have um, jaw coordination, you have joint ID, you have uh, enabling the servos, disabling the servos. You can control the gripper too. So you can go ahead and en enable the gripper. Um, and then you also have the logic and variables. You could do like if then situations and uh, create your own custom like repeats and stuff of that uh, formulations based on your own creativity. So let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and make it wave. I think that'd be kind of cool to see. So let's try this out. All right guys, so this here's our final coding. So I went ahead and repeated it twice. So essentially it's gonna be waving, bowing, and then just repeating itself again. So let's hit play. All right, there's a little wave. <laughs> And it's gonna do a bow. There he goes. And then one more time. Wave and bow. <laughs> Sweet. So just like that, you can go ahead and create your own custom animations, which is really cool. All right, so the next thing we did is program the robot to grab that Lego character and hand it back to me. Uh, hopefully this works out. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some support to the bottom base there. All right, so the gripper should open up first, followed by a rotational aspect, just like that. There we are, perfect. And now it's applying uh, the gripper there to go ahead and grab onto the Lego character, which it is. And there we go, should bring it up. It's gonna do a little wave, showcasing that it did grab it. And it should have handed it to me next. There we go. Uh, gripper should open up slowly. There we go. <laughs> and go back into ready state. And just like that, you can go ahead and use the gripper. Cool. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're gonna be trying out the suction mode. So technically we mounted the robotic arms onto the wall here and I programmed it to give me a massage, hence the vacation vibe. Uh, so let's go ahead and try it out. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Yep, that, that definitely is getting the spot right there. So you can use these robots for practically anything. So it kind of gives an idea of what you can do with it. Overall, it's actually a really great concept and it's quite easy to use. Now, I would highly recommend it, especially if you're getting into STEM education or if you're just looking for a useful tool to go ahead and repeat a certain action, this here is a great way to use it. Not only that, they also comes with a claw, a suction cup, as well as a pointer. So you can go ahead and essentially customize it based on your own personal functionality. Now, other than that, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.